just by use of materials, it actually turns out to be a, a pretty amazingly easy way to separate things. You know, if you're still right. finding concrete, ta-da, it's, it's later. Have you guys found anything in the sifting so far? Uh, we found a button. Found a button? Yep. Three days ago, uh, in one of the units we found um, about the same era, a coat button. Uh, and then yesterday they found uh, a pair of scissors, old scissors. Um, 1906 coin. 1906 uh, silver quarter. And a with, uh, I mean, a bottle with a uh, corkscrew. Yep. Yep. Originally, we were looking for the walls for the east and the west moat, um, oh. which is has been found on the, our west side. Uh, but unfortunately, we believe that this World War One era road is covering our moat wall. Oh, but we believe in preservation in place, so we're going to leave it in in place, and we're going to clean it up, make it look pretty, and we're going to take some photographs of it later. That way, we have an idea. Um, some the pipes are World War One era as well, um, and that way, it's going to give the people that work here an idea of what they're gonna run into later if they have to dig or move or anything like that. We knew from stabilization done in the 1990s uh, around part of the four that they knew the moat was here. They recognized brick walls and things like that. But their focus was stabilizing the fort. It wasn't to document the past as we are here to do. But they gave us great information that the first wall, first wall would be 12 foot off the main fort mm -hmm. and it would be 20 feet wide. It does give us confirmation that this is the inner wall of the fort. And then what Kaylee was standing on a minute ago was the other wall. So it is exactly 20 feet from wall to wall. So that is. We have no problem or uh, saying that this is the moat of the Civil War period fort. We found a, a, what was interesting, it was an entire clear glass bottle. It, of course it was broken. It had a square top and a metal corkscrew in the top. You know, you can see the corkscrew and then the little ring on the top. It's kind of cool. And this is just really, it's not only stabilization of the artifacts, but um, it's also just a, a good place for students to see uh, the stuff they're digging up.